In that moment, I understood the importance of doing a proper warm up for the first time. <laughs> Welcome back to Story Time, a series where I share interesting stories and experiences from my life that have profoundly shaped the person that I am today. And in today's episode, I'm going to be sharing the story of a tennis match from my first ever tennis tournament, which taught me the importance of doing a warm up. So stay tuned, and I hope you enjoy this video. Well, this tennis match when I was about 10 or 11, yeah, it was when I was 11 years old. I was playing my first ever tennis tournament and I was really excited. I didn't know what to expect. I had obviously practiced but like I, I just didn't know what to expect. I was just going there and I wanted to enjoy myself. So I went into the tennis tournament with that mindset. My dad and my grandpa, uh, my dadaji, he um, came to the tournament as well. and. You know, we we really had no expectations. We didn't even know what tennis tournaments were like. We were just like, you know, let's go there, let's see what happens. So we went to that tennis tournament and my first match was um, scheduled around 11 o'clock or something. We just had to wait there. So we were just chilling, talking. Um, obviously at that time, I didn't know the importance of like fit I, mean, look, I was I was a fat kid at that time during my first ever tennis tournament so um, you know I didn't have this awareness that you know warm-ups are very important you know I didn't have the awareness about the right nutrition strategy hydration all of these things I mean I was just chilling I wasn't really doing much um, and just hoping for the best honestly but the time for my match came around and I was actually playing, playing pretty well. So first match was relatively simple. I was able to win. But in the second round, I was facing the number one seed. And guys, you know, facing the number one seed is never pleasant. But this time it was even more unpleasant. And I'll tell you the reason why. This guy was ambidextrous. Meaning that he, so he didn't have a backhand. In tennis, you usually have a backhand and a forehand. This guy had no backhand. He just had two forehands. He would just change hands. So he would hit a right hand forehand and a left hand forehand. So this guy was like a machine. He was crazy. And he was really good. And um, you know, he was like pretty professional with like his approach uh, to the sport basically. Um, and obviously I had uh, picked up good habits afterwards, but in the initial days guys, I was <laughs> not to any, anything but professional in my approach. My diet was trash and yeah, so my fitness routine was not very good. So definitely a learning experience from there. But I was still excited to play that match uh, because I was like, you know, even if I lose, it's okay, you know, kuch to seekhne ko milega. So I went in with that mindset and my dad just told me to believe in myself. My dadaji told me the exact same thing. And I went there with that mindset. I was actually playing decently well. Like it's not like I was getting badly beaten or anything, but I wasn't playing at the level I could have. So this guy took a five nil lead. So he was just one game away from winning the match. And a big reason for that is because I didn't really do a warm up. So it took me a while to just get to like a decent level, right? Um, and after he took the five nil lead, that's when I was really able to start playing my game. So that's when I was playing pretty well. So I managed to actually take three games from him in a row. So at that moment, I was like, holy shit, I might actually be able to win the match, you know? 5-3, I just have to break him one more time and I can make it 5 all. But, you know, didn't happen, but it's okay. 6-3, um, a 6-3 defeat in my first ever tournament to like the number one seed. I guess when I thought of it that way, I mean, it wasn't so bad. My dad and my dadaji on the car ride home, they were actually really proud of me. Though it was in that moment that I understood that I warm up. Bhi karna hota hai. You know, it's actually very important. So that's something I changed. And just a few months later, I've made a video about uh, this on the channel, which I will link. And I'm going to be talking about in future videos also. There was one match which happened, I think, two, three months later, which I lost, but I could have easily won had my fitness been better. So that was the real catalyst for me to transform my fitness and just, you know, let all the junk food go and, you know, adopt a strong fitness routine. 
So that was the catalyst for my fitness transformation, and that allowed me to take my game to the next level. So um, you know, it kind of came full circle because the next year, during the same tournament, I ended up winning it. So that was a pretty good feeling. But all that to say, my dad and my dadji, they were both saying, you know, after the match, they were just like, you know, you can beat this kid. Like you have that potential inside you to beat this kid and to win this tournament. So I. went in with that belief and i'm so happy that i lost that match two or three months later because that motivated me to do something about my fitness because it wasn't where i needed to be my movement was terrible and a big reason for that is because i was a fat kid at that time um so yeah i guess everything in life happens for a reason i'm very grateful for this match i learned a lot of lessons and honestly I feel sports is so much more than just physical activity and now it's also made me value my health a lot. They've taught it's taught me the importance of health and it's taught me the importance of just determination and never giving up. Because if you don't give up, I feel you eventually win because pe- everyone else will just give up around you. So I feel like the one who doesn't give up is the one who wins in the end. So just keep at it. I feel like sports yeah I mean obviously it is about your physical health it is about getting healthier and all of that but more than that I feel like sports is all about determination work ethic and never giving up I feel like if you don't give up if you don't fold eventually you win because people give up after a while but if you don't give up you know you win so never give up guys just keep at it and keep trying to be a better version of yourself every single day even if it's you know just microscopic improvements over time they will compound and you will be able to see the difference i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share this with someone you love cuz that's how we can change many lives together thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video namaste